Good morning guys from Bali. So it's another day in Uluwatu. We are heading out today very early because yesterday we slept in. And we are gonna explore some more beaches today, of course. It's a bit cloudy today, but let's see, maybe it will clear out. We had to stop because Valerio lost his flip-flop on the way <laughs> How he made the turn It's okay, baby, it happened We continue <laughs> The road down here is so steep I'm not sure if we are gonna make it up But let's hope for us <laughs> Otherwise, Valerio, you have to push the scooter on the way up there are other scooters parked here, so hopefully <laughs> it's a good sign. Hopefully we will all make it up, but look at the beach here. I can already see that there are no rocks, so it's gonna be amazing because the Padang Padang yesterday was full of rocks. In fact, my feet is cut. So let's enjoy this beach. Welcome to Niang Niang Beach, everybody. boiling completely so I guess we will have to return if we manage if we manage to come up with the scooter on the sketchy road yeah well I guess if you're gonna see this video we made it back I guess otherwise, otherwise we'll... you probably got stuck here forever so... so we will see you probably at another beach or at yeah, the breakfast place at the breakfast place <laughs> let's do this pray for us any last words Ah, see you up. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. <laughs> ah, we made it. Better than expected, right? Better on the way up than the way down. Yeah, maybe, yes. But it was scary a little bit on some parts. Okay, we'll see you later. So the breakfast is served. Finally having breakfast. <laughs> we ordered smoothie bowls again. Valerio has... A... Sunset bowl. Ah, sunset bowl. And me, I have banana, chocolate chips, granola, and mango, I think. Let's eat. I have to finish the video because Valerio is starving. <laughs> He's gonna get mad. <laughs> so we made it to Karangboma Cliff. It's very, very impressive as it's super high. But unfortunately, the path here that leads yeah, to the cliff the it's closed it probably was too dangerous and yeah. they closed it down so but no, i don't think they closed it like a long time ago because i seen some pictures that people still went up recently so i i guess they closed it up very recently got a bit unlucky yeah also quite of a sketchy road to get up here so keep in mind if you're coming with a scooter like us full of uh, stones and yeah. photos. I was ready to offload myself. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit sketchy, but it's okay. You go carefully. Yeah. And you pay 5,000 per person to enter. And uh, now we will head back as it's super hot. We need to go to the beach. No, it's too hot. Yeah, it's way too hot. All right, let's go. Oh, 
So guys, we just arrived at Padang, Padang Beach. This is the beach. And we have seen a roasted corn, so we have to get it because it's Valeria's <laughs> favorite. <laughs> Actually, this beach is one of probably the least favorite until now. It's not that great, also quite dirty, full of uh, rubbish, plastic in the sea. Yeah. Beating. But, uh, yeah, I think we, we will just stay for for a little just while. A yeah. Actually, it's the first beach until now that we, we actually had to pay the entrance. Mm -hmm. or just like one euro, so still nothing, but yeah. Yeah. So I think we will finish our corn and we will have to look for a better beach, correct? Yes, that's the plan. Okay. So we made it to Balangan Beach viewpoint. Incredible view. Again, we just had to pay for the parking, 5k around 30 cents and yeah this is the view you get maybe not the best beach to go for a swim as it's very rocky in fact as you can see there are almost nobody there's almost nobody swimming just the surfers down there and there are the big waves but still totally worth it for the view to come for a very late lunch now to one barroom that is very near our house so we are choosing from the menu but we already chose we will go for the which one was it nasi goreng nasi goreng sayur ayam the chicken <laughs> and it costs actually just a little over one euro so happy about that yeah. all right let's see how it tastes so the food has arrived <laughs> and it's pink. Maybe it's pink. <laughs> so take the first bite and tell me if it's okay. <laughs> one euro dish, one euro ten cents. Good? Yeah? So we have finished everything. Now we just have to pray that we don't turn pink from all the pink eyes. <laughs> but it was good, no? Well, you're already a bit red because you want to burn. So I'm turning pink already, yeah? So we just arrived to a much fancier part of uh, Uluwatu. Actually, for this ice cream we paid more than for the lunch. But yeah, we went here to check out some yeah, like cool restaurants and some shops as yeah, well. Yeah, just to go for a walk. Yeah. The weather was great. Yeah, so because the hotel where we have our guest house is like a very local part. And now we came to the part where all the bars, restaurants, all the uh, like fancy hotels. So we wanted to see this part as well. Yeah. Ice cream is great. But yeah, we paid more than for the lunch. So it's fun, you know? Yeah, but that's the good thing here, you can do it as cheap as you want, yeah. but you can still have some uh, nice treats that still Yeah, you have options, cheap. you have you options. Just... I mean, yeah, it's still cheap, of course, like for, yeah, for us Europeans it's still very cheap, but uh, compared like to Bali prices in general, yeah, it's more expensive than, yeah. let's say, uh, local places. So, let's see. Oh, what do we find here? After our early evening stroll around the center, we decided for one more last minute adventure of the day. We drove to Uluwatu Temple to watch the famous fire dance show that happens every day for sunset. Ketsak dance is the most unique type of Balinese dance. It is not accompanied by any musical instrument, instead it is accompanied by a choir of around 70 men. 
This dance comes from a sacred dance, Sanghyang. In Sanghyang dance, one of the dancers is possessed by spirits and communicated with the gods or ancestors who have been purified. By using the dancer as a medium to connect, the gods or ancestors can deliver their words. After the amazing fire dance show, we went to get dinner at Shaka Tacos. So guys, this is the end of our video, we hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, it would mean the world to us and subscribe to our channel as we are vlogging every single day of our 5 months adventure around Southeast Asia, so there are hundreds of videos coming your way. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you tomorrow, bye!